Hi, how are you? Good, good. Oh. All right, everyone, last but not least, we have offensive lineman JV on call. We'll go right into questions. So why Miami? Why not? Everything around here is perfect. The people really drew me in close. Uh, people like Coach Crystal Ball, Coach Mirror Ball, the entire staff, honestly, you know, and the te teammates that I got as well. You know, everybody has a collective goal, which is getting the U back to a standard. How does it compare to Alabama? Obviously, Alabama's had one of the best programs in the country for a long time. How would you draw a comparison? Uh, I feel like the work ethic that uh, Coach uh, Crystal Ball instills in this is it's really similar. You know, everybody goes out and tries their hardest in practice. Uh, the practice formats is actually, you know, really similar as well. So I don't think it's much of a difference. I just think, you know, two different programs, two different trajectories, you know, times come, times go. But I feel like we're back on the rise now. A lot, of, a lot of newcomers in the line this year with you and Matt Lee, uh, the, the freshmen who are you know, getting a lot of reps. Just how have you guys kind of worked on like on gelling together? I mean, it takes a, a complete room to actually do that together, but everybody has been very positive, you know, speaking to the young kids. I have a chance to talk to Samson about a lot of things. I go talk to him. Me and CC and Huddle together, I go say something to him. Just, you know, everybody leaning on each other, and also we got great coaches with Coach Crystal Ball and Coach Mirabal leaning on us as well. So it just takes a complete room effort, and everybody has to be on the same page and want the best for each other, and we do that every day. And then about about the freshmen, just, I mean, you obviously, you're, you're a talented lineman yourself. You played with a lot of talented guys at Alabama. Just how do they compare to some of the linemen that you've, you've seen and worked with? They're freakish. They're very advanced for their age. I think Samson's technique is very close to being pro. Uh, I tell him that almost every day, which is why I'm on his tail a lot, because I want him to be very great. Uh, CC's a dog with a great mentality. Tripp has a big base. You know, he's a hard worker as well. And those guys really want to be something special here. They want to, They came here for a reason, which is to turn you around. And I think that's very inspiring to see. And it's great to have with young kids. Having a head coach that's an offensive line, you know, how cool is that for you having, you know, a guy running the program you can ask him a few questions and things like that? Yeah, that's awesome. Coach Crystal Ball is my guy. Uh, you know, all day in practice, we just sitting around talking, talking about different things, different techniques, different plays, different things we want to go over and do. And I just think it's really awesome because, you know, we have a different bond, a different connection. And uh, I remember he came and visited me one time when I entered the portal and we just sat there and talked about the different things that will go on, you know what I'm saying, with the offensive line, from the offensive line standpoint. And, I mean, we just hit it off from there. So, like, that relationship right there is something I'll cherish and take with me for years and years. And then, just what are your impressions of Coach Shannon Dawson's offense, you know, halfway through this week? What are your thoughts on everything? Y'all look like it. Y'all look like that a lot. I love that offense. You, know, you, you played in 2020 at Alabama. Was that your first yes, year? So you, you won a national championship. Yes, ma'am. Did you play that year in any games? Yes, ma'am. I was uh, a true freshman that year. I ended up playing, like, eight or nine games. and. Well, all of that just came together. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, I remember, I think my very first time playing, uh, I traveled with them to Missouri. I didn't get to play that game, but we came home the next week and that was the all SEC schedule. So I played with Mississippi State and it was wonderful. I mean, that experience, just getting it off your chest and being able to just say, I played an SEC football game was awesome for me. How about winning a national championship? That was even crazy. I actually remember standing over right over there under that U. We was in here practicing, prepping for that game. And it was just a surreal feeling. I, I actually remember telling myself that same day that, wow, it must be awesome to practice here, feeling that now. Oh, you're practicing for the game here? Yes, ma'am. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was nice. I enjoyed that. You, you, yeah. Matt Lee, just the leadership he brings to the O-line. Oh, that dude's a wizard, man. So much education. Actually, starting 36 games is a lot more valuable than a lot of people understand because he has old eyes. And what I mean by old eyes is he's seen a lot, you know what I'm saying? So there's certain things that he'll call that we'll be on the same page and certain things he'll say. And I'll be like, wow, how did you even see that? You know what I mean? So like just being around somebody with that kind of experience, that kind of drive and effort that he has, and he also brings the room together as well. He has great leadership qualities, and I respect him more than anything. And I'm, I was actually on his case about his recruiting, trying to get him to come here, and I'm very happy with that addition. What do you see from Ruben Bain for the first time practice? Yeah, I love Ruben Bain. He is as advertised to everybody out there. Uh, I believe he's going to be a special player here, a very hard worker. I got some reps against him today in uh, two-minute drill, and I just, you know, feeling him out, you know, seeing what he can do. He has a very deep tool bag, you know what I'm saying, and, and he works very hard. So obviously with his brother being here, he even stays out to practice and get reps with his brother, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's a that's the type of player that a lot of you fans are going to love coming up for the next couple years, and a lot of draft scouts keep their eyes on as well.
How, you, how was the uh, scouting symposium that you went to? It was wonderful. It was, what did you do there? Uh, we just basically sat in meetings all day just learning the different things that NFL scouts want to know about players and, and the things they look for in that type of process. And I learned a lot of things. I got to go to the pro, the, uh, pro combine as well, see the different things that took place. And just, just sitting there and learning the different things that I did, you know, really, really honed a lot of things in for me. And hopefully this will be my last year. So coming back and allowing me to prepare that kind of way with that kind of information was great for me. Would you say there's been any adjustment for you from Alabama's offense to this offense? Uh, most definitely. I think every offense in the country is different, first and foremost. I think all the coaches have a very set different standard for themselves, and a lot of different teams have their offense coordinator calling plays and their head coach calling plays. So it's very different, but I believe Coach Dawson's offense is very special, and again, you all will love it. I promise you. You all will love it. Mm -hmm. The talent of the starting five here, how does it compare to the place you just left? Not far off. Not far off at all. I think we have a lot to grow together. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'll, I speak for that because with that last five that I was with, we had chemistry. We're still building chemistry here, but I find a lot of talent. Jalen Rivers, the NFL tackle. I'm telling you that. Matt Lee is the NFL center. And the different guys that we have coming in with different combinations. And Nez Cooper is a very big guard, very young guy, but he's very big, very bright. And, you know, CC Marinoga is CC. Like, everybody knows that. So I don't think the talent's far off. I think once we gel together and get our chemistry right, it'll be on point. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes,